We talk often about simplicity. Through the ages, power hammer makers have built many different control systems to allow the user to better control their forging. For our hammer, the control system is only made up of a handful of components. The mini valves, the five-way or spool valve, the cylinder, and the pedal valve. All of the attributes of control, stroke, timing, and power are derived from these few parts. This means if your hammer ever starts losing those attributes, then you need not look any further than the few parts we mentioned. We recommend if you have any trouble with your hammer, you check the alignment of the mini valves first. If you haven't done this before, then you can find the link on our video showing you how to do that in the description below. If you have checked the alignment of the mini valves and they are in line but the hammer still isn't running correctly, then the next place to look is the five-way valve. The five-way valve is a very simple valve that controls the direction of the flow of air in and out of the cylinder. It only has one moving part. A single shuttle is pushed back and forth between two possible positions by air pressure provided by the mini valves. It is the characteristics of this simple action that makes the hammer behave in the way it does. The spool glides back and forth in its channel on rubber o-rings. This action is made effortless by a continuous flow of oil through the air system and, in ideal conditions, this valve will last decades. But if the flow of oil is disrupted and the valve runs dry, it will wear and may become sporadic in its operation. This is why oil is so important to the operation of our hammer. Oftentimes, though simply adding a considerable amount of oil to the system will breathe new life back into the hammer and keeping that oil flowing will ensure this valve running for years to come. We start by shutting down the hammer. Remove the small control lines on either side of the five-way valve and add oil until the line is full. Then remove the hoses of the five-way and add about a teaspoon of oil to each one. Last, add about a teaspoon of oil to the main air in hose. Your hammer may not look exactly like this, but for the most part, all of our hammers through history work under the same principle. Now turn the hammer on and run it for 5 to 10 minutes. Check the oiler and make sure that it is oiling as you run the hammer. If it is not, then you could see how to adjust it in our FRL video, link in the description below. You should notice an improvement fairly quickly. If your problems persist and you are sure your mini valve is properly aligned, you can repeat this process, but you may need to replace or rebuild your five-way valve. Thanks, and subscribe to keep up with what is new with Blue.